Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm so excited to tell you guys that we have reached 200 subscribers. Like, I'm so hyped and excited. Like, I can't believe it. Like, who I think I am? Like, people are really looking at these videos and pressing the button. Like, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I know I'm like one out of 1.16 billion trillion people that are on YouTube, but I really wanted to start this because what's going on with the light? Hold on, my light trying to play me. So I, like I said, I know I'm one of 16,000 billion trillion people that's on YouTube, but you know, I really have been enjoying this journey and I'm excited for this. So like, let's keep it going. So I got another challenge. Um, I got some new stuff that um, I got and I want to do another giveaway, but this time I want to do two giveaways and I'm going to spread it out. One, when we get to 250 subscribers, which is not far. And another one, when we get to 300 subscribers. So I feel like every time we hit like a major milestone until we get to, let's say 1200 or something like that. Like we're going to keep pushing and keep growing. And I think I want to do a giveaway for each milestone that we hit. So like, let's get it people. Like this is exciting. Like I'm hyped. So I want to do a giveaway every milestone. So, you know, let's share the video, like the video. I would, I really appreciate you guys liking. You're doing a really good job with that. I really appreciate it. So make sure you guys like the video that really helps me out. And just, you know, comment and subscribe because I really like talking to you guys. I, I um try to answer every single comment. If I don't see it, I'll go back and say something on every comment. So I really appreciate you guys commenting and talking to me, DMing, asking questions. I really appreciate it. My channel is mostly um, beauty, fashion, the things that make up me. Just, you know, what I like. So if that's your vibe, I would love for you to subscribe, join our little community. Um, if you are a returning viewer, welcome. Thank you very much for coming back. And I'm so glad you are liking the content. And I got a lot of new makeup today. Um, I want to try out the NARS um, Tinted Moisturizer. I've heard a lot of good things about this. The Mario Bronzer, the Liquid Bronzer, the Mario Highlighter. I have his Palette. Um, I have um, some shimmer eyeshadow from Revlon from the drugstore. I have a new concealer I want to try. So I got a couple of little cute little things that I want to try out in the video. So if you guys are ready to try out some new makeup, let's play around with me. Keep watching. So I'm trying to get my lighting right. I'm trying new lighting. So I want you guys to let me know what you think about it. Is it too bright? You know, am I washed out? Just let me know um, what's going on because I want you guys to be able to see me. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use, this is not new, but I haven't used this in a while. This is the Bobbi Brown under eye corrector. So I'm going to take this and put this on my under eye. Just sit it on your under eye. Especially down here in this area. This is where I feel like I have like a little sunken spot or something. So I like to make sure that that is covered up really well. And plus I want to use other stuff. This is the um, one of the other things I was telling you guys about that I was trying to use. So that um, when we run out of the Becca, because eventually you're going to run out of it, that you have another alternative. This Bobbi Brown corrector is really good. Also the Pixie. Pixie has a um, corrector that's kind of like the Becca and they have it in um, a lighter color and like a deep peach color. That one's really good too because I've been using um, the Bobbi Brown and something else I've been using trying to see like which one I've been liking and the Bobbi Brown so far is winning. So let me know if you guys have picked up the, uh, the Pixie and how you guys like it because I'll pick it up and try it too. Now, while that's sitting, I want to tell you guys about the new concealer that I picked up from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. I got mine in tan 45. Now, I don't know if this is new or not or if this has been around, but I have never seen it. And I really want to start testing out new concealers because I only use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer. Like, that... 
I love that concealer. I remember when everybody was into the um the Tarte, whatever that one was with the fat dough applicator. That didn't do nothing for me. First of all, I could never find the right color. The color sucked. So I never could get into it. I mean, I keep hearing how good of a concealer it is, but it's never did nothing for me. So I found that I like Pat McGrath's concealer, but I feel like the Too Faced is still more coverage for me. Um, what else I use? The Kevin Arquine is excellent, but because it's so heavy, I feel like it creases a lot under my under eye. So I don't use that as much as I would like to. The NARS is pretty good. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, that one's good. But I just keep going back to the Too Faced. So we're going to just try out some stuff until I feel like I got a hit. With my like I did with my Too Faced, that'll say let's just say that's the goal, and then we're trying to see if you know we can knock it out the top stop spot. But for so far, I haven't found one. So we're gonna use this. This is what the applicator looks like. It's kind of like fat. It's kind of like flat, so it should be easy to get on your eye. It feels good. I hope I got the right color. And it's enough on the applicator to get on both eyes. So I do like that. So we're going to let that set down. Um, I'm going to blend out, of course, with my Morphe E20 brush. This is my favorite brush so far to blend out my concealers. So I'm going to let this dry just a little bit more. Y'all, I can't wait to go get my hair done. If I don't look like Popeye the Sailor Man, like, I can't even deal with the laid down. This is... I just feel like I like I got on one of them swim caps or something like where's <laughs> okay so let's blend out the concealer and see what we looking like okay so so far um what I do like about this is I love the color match that I think is an I did an excellent job um also, I feel like I need a little bit more coverage. I feel like I can see like some of my darkness right there. Also, too, I feel like this is going to crease fast. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like I got a creaser. So we're going to see. I'm going to put a little bit more on and blend it out and set it. And I'm doing them more pressing motion this time other than sweeping like I was. Just so I can keep the concealer where I want it. While it's not my Too Faced, I feel like this is a cute little concealer for the summer. I feel like, you know, we can get away with this. I love the moisture though it's giving me on my under eye. Like it's not drying or anything. Like I do like that. So, Let's move on. I have a little sample from La Mer. It's called the Hydrating Illuminator. You can see how small it is. I want to put a little bit of this on because I want to see how this goes. <laughs> Somebody should have warned me. I want to see how this goes underneath my uh, NARS. Oh, it's like a... um. Oh, okay. I see what it is. Like one of those. Y'all remember the back, the Becca backlit primer or something? It kind of reminds me of that. That uh, iridescent color. So I picked up the NARS. Um, what's this called? Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in Marrakesh. Medium Deep 2. So we're going to see how this looks. So... It's a very liquidy formula, but it's not like, because it's not moving. So I like the consistency so far. So we're going to dip it. We're going to do the norm. Dab it on. This is normally how I do my foundations and stuff. So now we're just going to buff it in. Ugh. 
Okay, so far, the finish on this is gorgeous. Like, look at this. This is beautiful. All right, Norris. Let me, I'm going to put a little bit more on to try to build it up a little bit. I just want to see, like, what kind of coverage you can get. Because it seems like it's, you get a beautiful amount of coverage. But I still see, like, a little bit of my freckles and stuff right here. So I want to see if you can build up the coverage some. Which it looks like you can. And it's not cakey. Hopefully I picked a good color. Hey, Nars. Y'all did. Nars, y'all did this. This is beautiful. This is literally gorgeous. Okay, so I don't have a new powder. So I'm going to go and set my eyes. And come right back. Okay, so I set my under eye and I had a chance to let the NARS like sit for a second. And it doesn't completely dry down so far. It's only been like five minutes or so. So it doesn't dry down like all the way. It's still a little tacky. But the coverage and the way my skin, like look at the glow. Nice people. And for $48 or something like that, it just ought to be nice. But you just never know because these prices and stuff and you don't understand what you get because the drugstore prices. Because I think this concealer, if I'm not mistaken, was almost $15. I would have to check. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, these prices and stuff. So we're going to move on to uh, the Mario Soft Scup Shape and Stick. And I got the color Dark Deep. So this is the brush. It has the same brush as the uh, blush with the little dots or mountains or whatever this is on here. Closing this, like, gives me anxiety. Like, this drives me to drink. Like, I don't know who the hell came up with this. And this is what the other side looks like. This is how much product you get inside. And I think this was like $28 or something like that. So nobody's using this every day. So $28 for that much product, you should be fine. So I, I remember if you guys see my other video um, when I had the blush, I put it on my hand and then applied it. I don't know if I want to do it that way or if I want to go straight on my face. So I want to do one side with just a swipe and then the other side I'm going to put it on my hand and then buff it on my face because I like putting it on my hand with the, bl the blush. So we're going to see what this one is like. Just want to break the damn stick. Got it all high. Okay. So I'm going to leave it like that. Take the brush and buff it out. Okay. Okay. It's <laughs> not going nowhere. All right. I'm going to do it a little harder. Come on, Mario. Don't do this to me now. What's going on? Oh, okay. All right, guys. What is looking like? Don't have me out here looking crazy. Tell me the truth. Okay. No, this is bomb so far, guys. So far. Okay. Now I'm excited. All right, hold up. Take the other side and put it on my hand and see. But I feel like I'm going to use a lot of product doing it that way. But All right, so let's pick some up. Ooh. Dab some of that off. Okay, let's see if we can... Blend this out. Oh, wait. He said blend up. That might not have been a good idea. It's not going nowhere. I can't get it off. Okay, so first step. Do not use a lot. Don't be like me, packing it all on. No, this bomb, y'all. Like, look at the... 
<laughs> Look at this. Now, this is bomb. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing over here, but I will tell you, though, the key, do not use a lot. I was over here blending my life. I'm surprised that I only still got foundation on, but I still got skin left. Like, don't use a lot, please. Because I made that mistake. But this is bomb. This look like I've been on vacation and ain't went no damn where. This is, I loved it. Mario! I turned the brightness up on my camera a little bit because I felt like you guys really couldn't see. That's better. Look at this, guys. Look. This is stunning. Mario! I love this! <laughs> okay. Okay, so my question, my second question, do anybody know whether this sets down or like, do you have to put something over it? Because I feel like I don't want to do anything to it. I want to leave it just like this so we can see like what's the deal because this joint bomb so far. I love this. Like it's such like a beautiful, subtle like uh, tint. This is nice. All right, what else I got? What else I got? I got to get my table together. Okay. So I have a blush. It's not um, new, but I don't think I've used it on this channel. I don't even think I've used this yet. I have a Becca um, blush in Wild Honey. So I feel like I want to do that one and see, like, what's the beef? Got my brush so I can see what's going on here. And I usually do my eyes first, but like I'm so hype about this right here that I think I want to go with this. So let's try the blush. This is beautiful. This is really, really pretty. And it's not too bright. Oh, yeah, we just listen. We got some hits today to say I don't even know what this stuff get ready to be here for. I like this. Come on, Nars and Becca. All right, let me stop before I be looking like a clown. This is so cute. Like, I love this. Okay. All right, what else I got? What's the next thing? Okay, eyes. So I'm going to use the Mario eyeshadow palette. I have not used this on my channel. I don't think I've used this. I've had this. I think I got this during the Sephora sale, if I'm not mistaken. But I haven't used it yet. So we get ready to use it right here on this channel. So we're going to start out with, I'm going to assume this is matte 7, this color right here. And I'm going to put it. Right in the corner. You know what? I'm using the wrong brush. I'm going to use a more pointy brush. I'm going to use the BH uh, Pro number eight. And I'm going to start right here in the corner, making like a fake V, I guess you will call it. Just like kind of like outlining where I want it. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of a less denser brush, but it's just as pointy. I'm going to take my Scott Barn 62 and go into the color matte six, which is right here and blend that right on top of the darker one.
Okay, so far, it's blended like really cute. I love this. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of matte tin, which is the darkest, well, next to the darkest color down here at the bottom with the very tip, and I'm going to put it directly in the corner, like right here. And bring it over just a little bit. I just want to define like the corner right here. Listen to me sound like a makeup artist talking about the fine. You better go ahead, girl. Been on YouTube two days and you talking about the fine. So that is the top so far. Um, I also, I want to have a little bit of fun. This is something that I've never done before. I have a CoverGirl Exhibitionist 24-hour cold eyeliner in, the Cumro, in a color, Emerald Metallic. I want to try, oh, this is what the color looks like. I want to try this at the bottom of my lash and see my uh, bottom and see what it looks like and like smudge it out. I just, I never use color and stuff like this. So I want to see what it looks like. Have a little bit of fun. I ain't doing nothing. I'm going to take a little bit of a more uh, denser brush to buff it out. And I'm going to put this on the bottom lash. Pray for me, y'all. And see what it looks like. Let's start with this eye. Let's smudge it out. Okay, guys, how it look. Now, I know this don't look very summertime-y, but I think this is really cute. I don't know who I think I am, but guess what? I'm her today, whoever she may be. This is gorgeous. Okay, so I have the Revlon uh, So Fair's Prismatic Palette. Um, I got it from CVS, I believe, and these are the colors that's inside of it. This is really, really cute, but I'm trying to decide. I want you to see the colors, though. There you go. These are really cute. But what I'm trying to decide is, do I want anything on here? Because I don't want to necessarily mess it up. But let's do, let's do the darkest color right here and just put like a little bit on the lid, just in case. Because I just want to use it. It's very creamy. This is beautiful. I just want to be able to just to say I used it. Uh oh. Okay, no. Guys, this is beautiful. I don't know who the hell I think I am, but I love this. Okay. Okay, so what else we got this new? Let's move on. Oh, okay. Let's use the Makeup by Mario highlighter. I got the highlighter in Honey, and this is what it looks like. There you go. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful highlighter. Now, I was going to pick this up when I got the... um. What's it called? The stick blush. But when I swatched it, it's like it seems so glittery to me. So I put it back. But me seeing other people use this, I was like, okay, hold on. This looks nice. So I'm going to take um, the BH uh, fan brush number one. I'm going to tell you what really gets on my nerves, though. The little corners of my eye. Okay. So now we're going to use the Patrick Ty lip liner in She's Bold. Um... This is not necessarily a color that I always use or that I usually gravitate towards. It's kind of like a cool color, it seems like to me, but we get ready to put it on the mouth and we get ready to see. I don't see none.
Okay, well, I don't know who she's bold for because I can't see nothing. So I went and got um, another liner. Um, I'm using my Costa Riche eyeliner. It's my lip liner because that other one, like, I don't even know what that was supposed to be. And I found um, a Maybelline a Color Stay Matte Ink in Chai Genius. So we're going to see what this looking like. Let's try this. It seems to be matte. So let's see. It's a pretty color. The hot writer. Okay. It feels very soft. This is beautiful, though. I love the color. Yes, it feels very soft. Not sticky, not gritty. Maybelline. Hold on. I done got overboard with the highlighter and y'all let me. Ain't nobody say nothing. This is beautiful. I think that's all. Okay. One more thing. Got to do lashes um, and mascara. So I'll be back. Okay, guys. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it because I love it. This is my first time ever in life doing a look like this. Like I just, I can't even believe I did this. Like it's so simple, but it's so bold. I feel like this little bit of turquoise or whatever this is called. What is this called? Uh, Emerald metallic. I feel like this gave it such like a punch. Like this is so beautiful. Like I'm so proud of myself that I did this. Okay. So, the Mario bronzer, I'm going to use this again because I feel like I used too much, so it was a little difficult to blend out um, to me, like it wasn't like moving. So, I'm going to try this again, but so far, the color and everything is bomb. Um, it's not completely dried down, but it's not like sticky or anything. So I'm going to see how this wears throughout the day. Um, but so far I really, really like this. This is excellent. I love this. The highlighter is bomb. Like, I don't know why I put this back. Like don't, that's why they say don't go off of swatches because if I would have went off swatches, I would have never had this. Like this is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of my Charlotte Tilbury, um, film star bronzer, like how it doesn't like sit on top of the skin. It kind of like melts in. This is, this is bomb. Like I love this. Okay. So, so far the under eye concealer, I can say that I, I like this concealer. The only thing about it is the dry down. I feel like my under eye is a little bit tan. Um, but this is really, really good. I think I want to try another one just so I can test out the color because maybe I'm tripping. You guys let me know if my under eye looks tan like dry down, like just what it is. This is in the color tan, but the color that was after this was too dark. So I may go a step up so I can see how that color is. Um, the NARS. NARS people. This is so beautiful. Like I kind of want to go a little darker though. Um, I got to see what the next color is at the Marrakesh, but this is First of all, the glow that it gives you and you get a nice little bit of coverage out of it. And I might like this better than the Fenty because the Fenty was it. Like I wasn't getting no more tension moisturizers. Fenty had me, but this is like really, really good. Like I love how this feels on my skin. It doesn't feel, this is my test out face. It doesn't feel sticky. Even though it still hasn't dried down all the way, but I don't feel like I have a mask or anything on. Like this is, the color I think is so beautiful. Uh, we done had a hit today. I don't think there's anything that I don't like. The Maybelline pencil, the no, CoverGirl pencil glided on beautifully. It didn't tug my eye. It didn't hurt. The color payoff is stunning. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, um, the Huda Beauty Lashes in, hold on, Giselle. 
I didn't think I could wear different type of lashes because I could look very Muppet baby around my eyes with, when my lashes are too heavy. You guys seen the other lashes I was wearing. I think they were a little too much. So I'm trying to try out different lashes. So every video, y'all not like, oh, she got these same ones out the pipe. So I wanted to find something else that I can put on my eye. So these are, these are a hit so far. What else we got? The um, La Mer um, Hydrating Illuminator. I mean, I don't see nothing. So I don't think, I'm glad this was a sample because I don't think that I would buy this because I don't really see anything. To what I can say about the NARS as well, it doesn't stay the same um, consistency. Even though it's not dry all the way, it is not as luminous as it was when I first applied it. So it definitely dries down to like um, maybe a soft matte or something. Let me see. Does it say that it's supposed to be a soft matte? And I didn't even read that it has sunscreen. Listen, this is a hit. Y'all need to... Let's get on this. This is nice. And, I, and it got sunscreen in it because y'all already know. I'm just finding out that black people got to wear sunscreen. I didn't know. So this got sunscreen in it, which is a plus. And I don't feel, even though my light and all jacked, I don't feel like... I'm looking ashy or anything, especially in my own mirror. I feel like it just, it looks fine. So I'm going to definitely keep using this and trying this out a little bit more. What else I got? The blush. I think the blush is beautiful. It's very appropriate for summertime. It's not too much. I think it went beautifully on top of my bronzer. And also, I think it is very beautiful with this eye look. It's not too much. It doesn't stand out so much that it's like, because I put enough on that my face is not like a clown or anything. I think it's beautiful. And it has like a tiny bit of luminosity to it not necessarily shimmer but it's not dry and if you look at the let me get it open they have like it's very it's not dry but it's, it doesn't have any pearls or anything in it but when you touch it it's very soft so you can tell it's not going to be like a gritty um blush or anything but it doesn't have like a whole bunch of glitter in it so it's not going to get all over your face I, the blush is a hit um the mario eye palette i mean it's mario like i wasn't expecting anything these blended beautifully like they're not gritty it's so soft like Mario, you did this. And you would think you wouldn't be able to do much because the palette is just like so neutral, but you can get so many good eye looks out of this. And I'm not even a makeup artist and I came up with this. So this is like one of the best palettes as far as formula that I have played with so far. This one in the Patrick Todd. The Patrick Todd is good too. I'm going to keep playing with that as well because I'm going to use the darker cream that's in there. But to say this is his first palette, I don't feel like he needed to come out with all of these crazy colors. Because even if you look at Kim's makeup, they don't do a whole bunch of crazy eye looks. But everything he does on her eye is like stunning. And the formula on this, to say this palette is not really expensive, he hit the mark on this one. So the Maybelline Lips Lip Ink, Matte Ink. Very soft tiny bit sticky but not irritating i don't even feel like i have anything on my mouth this is in the color chai genius and i feel like this is a beautiful stunning color when i first put it on you know i was a little weird you know worried in my head like this was gonna look like baboons but but with a darker liner because i like i don't even know what i did with the patrick tie liner so i done tossed it somewhere but i like the liner just not necessarily for me. Now, I may use it when I'm having like a day I got on just mascara, maybe a little bit of bronzer, and just some plain gloss. I may put it on just to have something on my mouth for a little bit of definition. But I didn't really see it um, on my mouth to be able to use with this because I knew this was a little lighter color. So I feel like a darker liner. So I feel like a darker liner would have... would 
is with better with this, which I believe I'm right. So I'm going to keep it and use it on like a light day where I'm just having like a light makeup day, you know, no big deal. So I feel like that's it for everything that I have new. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I'm so sorry about the lighting. We're going to get it together. I'm not going to film in the afternoon anymore. And I apologize for my video being late. But yesterday I had a lot going on, so I wasn't able to finish editing and getting it up. So um, I hope you guys liked everything that was in the video. I'll have everything linked in the description box below. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget about the giveaway. 250 subscribers. I will be doing a giveaway. One will be a Pat McGrath giveaway. No, it's not another blush. It's something else, but it'll be a Pat McGrath giveaway. And um, 300 subscribers. I'll be doing another giveaway. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!